Winston Groom, author of Forrest Gump, says that Bill Boggs and his friend Spike the Wonder Dog unleash comedic wizardry in this madcap, highly entertaining, satiric novel. Spike is the newest canine literary hero to take on the world with hilarious results. Uh, Quincy Jones's story about the Sinatra version of that? Uh, no, I don't. Well, right after the, the Sinatra famously did it with Count Basie, and uh, and they played it in, actually, you and I once had a discussion. I thought it was in two, but you corrected me, it's in four. But in any case, it's not in three. Anyhow, Bert Bacharach heard the record and he called up Quincy Jones, who was the arranger and conductor. And he said, it's a great record. I'm honored that Frank did my song, but it's written as a waltz. Why didn't he sing it in three? And Quincy says, under no circumstances will the Basie band ever play a waltz. <laughs> a swinging right, waltz. Yeah. A non-swinging waltz, the Basie band is never going to play a waltz, no matter how swinging it is. So they had to play it in four. The Basie band I, just would not play a waltz, no matter, no matter, even a Burt Backrack waltz, which is really, you know. I, mean, I, I love that record. I, oh, it's fantastic. It's but, really uh, great. And, and uh, when, when we recorded uh, the waltz, um, we were, um, we put it, um, the, the company put it on a, a, the, verse, the other side of the record. And, uh, and Toys Todd, in the Attic? Was that Toys in the Attic? Toys in the Attic. And Geraldine Page and, and Dean Martin. And so, but, but it, it, we, so we did that and that didn't go very far. But in the meantime, uh, Bert was not thrilled. And uh, so he went out and he got the, uh, Vic Damone. And they went to the studio and they made a record of it. And just before uh, they, could release it, the DJs turned my record over and played, played the other side and we had a hit. Whew. Wow. You told me once, I, I don't know, I, I think I've seen you do this live, but um, when you realized, as you mentioned before, some of these lyrics are a little bit, you know, out of date, uh, but you said that when you realized Women's Live was a big thing, you know, in the, in, in the era, uh, in the 1970s, you wrote your own answer lyric to it. Could you sing a little of that if you remember it? I actually remember it if you don't, but you could sing it better than I do. I, can, I can't remember the whole thing. Uh, hey, hey, little boy, cap your teeth, get a hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no. You remember the whole thing? I, I, no, that's, I, all I, that's all I remember. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. Uh, and, and, but uh, I used to do that in the show, and, and, and when when the, the movement of, of uh, the, the National Organization of Women, um, they uh, hated hated me for doing it. And, I, and actually, up and up near Boston somewhere, I was playing, and and I was getting my car to leave, and a woman wanted to, wanted to hit me. They were really were upset with that with that song. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, oh, well, it's it's uh, it's nothing compared to what's going on now. But I mean, that, 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 that was a, a little bit sen sensational. It was. Well, I like what you said out in the desert last January. It's my hit, and I'm going to sing it. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, Steve Lawrence's yeah. line about rap music. He said, "I love rap music, and it would be even better if there were more rhymes for the word bitch." <laughs> well, that's that's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I, I've always said there's no such thing as rap music. There's rap and there's music. <laughs> it's a contradiction in terms. Yeah. But me, I like big butts. I cannot lie. But anyhow, I thought, oh, uh, I thought you might, the, the, the wonderful medley, I didn't play it yet. I'm, I'm, del I'm delaying it. The wonderful medley of operetta songs that you do with Judy. I thought you might like to talk a little bit about your dad, the great tenor that he was. Yeah. And the fact that you do these operetta songs partly in tribute to him, but also in tribute to Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald. And it's a wonderful medley. I imagine Mel, what, did Mel come up with the idea or did you come we up with it? We put it together. Yeah. It was his, his stuff. And he, and, and no one was ever better at that than he, than he was. And um, now the, the, my dad did uh, the original movie of Showboat. And, uh, and with uh, uh, I can't think. Irene Irene Dunn, 
And um, and then he did uh, oh another one. That Howard Fire Keel Fly, came along and, and did it Fire again. Fly. Howard was one of my best friends. The fun I had was years later, um, after Howard and I became good friends, and my dad was in town, I set up a dinner, and they didn't they didn't really want to do it. And I said, you guys. So they came to dinner and they we, they sat and talked and I just sat there and listened to their war stories and it was so much fun. Wow! <laughs> you know, two leading men. He was a terrific. It's funny because they both played Gaylord Ravenel in the two movies, and yet in the nineteen thirty six movie, which is by far definitive, Gaylord Ravenel, the leading man, is a tenor. But by nineteen fifty one, Gaylord is a really deep baritone, almost a basso. He really, uh, uh, really was a kind of a, a sonic cultural shift, you know. Well, I just because that's the way Howard sang. Yeah, and, yeah, and, uh, and 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 damn good too. But how, but the but the your dad's movie is the definitive one. Um, did your dad live in New it's York called, for a while? Paul Robeson, yeah. What? Because did your dad live in New York? Because I used to run into him a lot. He, whenever they were showing one of his movies at the Film Forum or the Regency, uh, all the revival houses, he would usually come by, and he was so friendly. He would answer questions. He would talk to us. He was a super nice guy. You know, in the eighties, I, I met him quite a few times. I'm happy to say, you know, uh, it, he was uh, it, it, he lived there and he had an apartment there and he had it burned down once. It, it, he was a he, an electrician, not, and uh, <laughs> and, and, and it was, it was wonderful. They, 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 they had a wonderful group of, uh, of of Broadway actors that would come and 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 have parties at his place and and, and he'd hold he'd hold court and. Uh, so one time when, when, when his apartment burned, burned out, um, he, he lost these wonderful pictures he had on the wall. And one, forgot which one it was, but uh, they, they were, had been taking pictures in there. And when he lost it, they took the, the picture and they, and they had it blown up and made into an, you know, it was pretty good. The technology was moving right along. So they so they gave it to him and he put the picture back on the wall. It was a picture of the picture. Oh wow! Yeah, your dad's the only guy I can think of that was in movies with the Marx Brothers, Abbott and Costello, Olsen and Johnson. He was in more movies with more great comedy teams than any other. Oh, yeah. you know, leading man. I have a <clears throat> I have a question about your father, Jack. I'm always interested when somebody is a child of a successful performer and somebody who's a real veteran in the business and they go into the business themselves. If there are one or two things that you really took from your father as a lesson in performing or a general lesson about show business, I know that goes back a while, but something that stayed with you that you learned from your dad. Well, first, I, I, I started in his act in Vegas in, uh, in uh, 50, 59 or whatever. Yeah, 57. And uh, at, at the Thunderbird, and I, I worked with him, and I got I got a lot from him then. But he was, I was a kid, and he was he was uh, kidding me along, and he he would introduce me as his his father's grandson. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun together. Then then she, before he died, he was in my sh my show, and uh, I took took him all over the place, and and we had a great time. That's good. It's in the blood, you know. It's well, yeah. I learned a lot from him, and he was a great, great, great showman. But I remember when I I made my first demo, uh, and we we made it at Capitol Records, and uh, Don Ray, the songwriter, uh, took a liking to me, and he said, "I want to put up the money, and we'll make a demo." We did, and I took it home, and I played it for my dad, and he said. I don't like that, that, that namby pamby singing. <laughs> it, it just, it, 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 I was devastated, but uh, he, he grew to like it. And years later, I was playing, I was playing New York and the show was over and he came back and he said, well, son, I can tell you now, you were wonderful tonight. I can tell you because I never liked you before. Ah. He was serious. He was <laughs> serious. <laughs> Oh, that hurts. Wow. That hurts. <laughs> well, I thought yeah. we'd watch that medley then with you and Judy Garland doing uh, yeah, the we'll, operetta we'll numbers. The medley. 
Let's, yeah, we have, great stuff. We have, a, we have a surprise coming up. Let's watch the method. Okay. <laughs> I never will forget Jeanette McDonald And Nelson Eddy gave my heart a pain We never will forget Brave Nelson and Jeanette Through snow and sleet and earthquake They sang, oh how they sang Sweetheart, 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 will you love me ever? Will you remember this day when we were happy in May? My dearest one, sweetheart, 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 for our paths may sever. To life's last faint embers, will you remember? Springtime, love time, springtime, love time, springtime, love time, babe. Rosalie, my darling, Rosalie, my dream. Since one night when stars danced above, I'm old, old, so much in love. Oh, Rosalie, have mercy. Rosalie, don't decline. Won't you make my life thrilling and tell me you're willing to be mine? Rosalie, mine. I'll see. Whenever spring breaks through again, time may lie heavy between, but what has been is past forgetting. This Across the years will come to me. Though we may go awry, still in our hearts will lie just the echo of the sigh. Goodbye, goodbye. to me I remember every little thing you used to do I'm so lonely 
every road I walked along, I walked along with you. No wonder I am lonely. The sky is blue, the night is cold, the moon is new, but love is all. But you know, Jeanette McDonald didn't uh, make all her pictures with Nelson Eddy. Oh, you can't be serious. Well, the next thing you'll be telling me there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> well, really, Judy, it's true. In 1938, she made a movie called The Firefly uh, with another man. Well, that's close to treason. How do you know that? Were you there? Yes, I was. As a matter of fact, 1938 was the year I was born. Nobody was born in 1938. <laughs> and if they were, I don't want to know anything about them. <laughs> okay, I was born in 1930. That's fine. Right. That's good. But the, uh, the other man who made a movie with Jeanette McDonald was uh, my dad, Alan Jones. That's amazing. As a, matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I was born on the night my father first recorded uh, my favorite song from that picture, The Donkey Serenade. Oh, I love that song. Do you think that Nelson would mind if we sang that? Well, I don't know if he would mind, but I know my dad would mind if we didn't sing it. <laughs> There's a song in the air, but the fair senorita doesn't seem to care for the song in the air. Amigo mio, I am listening to your song. So I sing to my mute. If you're sure she won't think that I am but a fool Serenading of you Amigo mio, does she not have an ID brain? She listens carefully to each little word you play But try as she may In her voice there's a flaw And all that the lady can say That is amazing. I just want to remind everybody that the tip jar is open for your custom. And uh, to further drive the message home, here is our wonderful kitty jingle that I try not to play more than once an hour, but just to remind you. Well, 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 we've got a show to sell. If you put a little tip, tip, tippy in a kitty, hey, that would be real swell. ka -ching. It's a little lumpy, but it rings. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna stop the screen share and put Bill and Jack and our other special guest on mic. Uh, he's here under the name Nick. I assume this is. Yeah, that would be. That Nick. would be. That's, oh, that's it's Nicholas he, now. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the name he uses as a disguise when he does things like this. Okay, so he should be unmuted. Can you talk, Mr. Robinson? Well, is that you? Yes, yeah. there you are. Now, wait, Here's wait, that wait, famous wait, 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 wait. I'm Dick Robinson. <laughs> no, wait a minute. No, I'm Dick Robinson. No, I'm Dick Robinson. Oh, so we wanted to bring Dick on Dick Robinson from Legends 100.3 FM radio, my favorite radio station in the country. Dick is a great friend with Jack. We just thought it'd be fun to have him on for a couple minutes. Yeah, that's hey, great. Dick. Hello, Dick. Hi. You have anything to say to Jack <laughs> on his birthday? <laughs> oh, it's your birthday. Oh, Jack, my God. Jack. Happy birthday. Yeah, Happy we, we, birthday. We've got the uh, Connecticut Glee Club here. Just to, <laughs> I tell you, it's. Uh, yeah, I, Jimmy. I, get it out. It's going to be uh, how many? 
13 <laughs> weeks until Will, this. Will is going to be, and Bill, and, and Lady Jane's there. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be 13 weeks, and I'll be your age. 13 weeks. Happens every year. It happens every year. <laughs> yeah, my, one how of did my... you guys meet? How did, how did a great friendship spring up between you two? I don't remember. How did we meet? Oh, I met a long time ago uh, in Boston when it was uh, you know, Wives and Lovers or Lollipops. Back oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. But, but you know, we, then, you, then, you moved, then you moved in and you had a Jack Jones suite in, <laughs> in every, my uh, homes that I used to own before I went bankrupt. Oh, uh, come oh, on. You, you had, had the Jack Jones suite right here. Okay, I don't know what you're seeing. Well, because I'm not, uh, Lady Jane, can you see what you're seeing? Yes, I can see what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you. Jack, Jack Jones had his suite right here and his sweetie, too, Eleonora. Wait, wait, wait have you seen, uh, have you seen Ivy? Uh, no, I, the, the, they, uh, she was shy. I didn't want to come in. I, 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 I can yell. Well, if we. Oh. I, I should have known I would have yelled and brought, brought her in here. <laughs> and I should I should put Ivy. But Ivy is a, a great dog. Uh, and uh, uh, Sally Robinson is in the background. Hey, Sally and Nicholas. Hi. Sally. Hi, Sally. Hi. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you very much. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Hey. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Well, 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 Jack. Jack and Nora. <clears throat> you see me? There yeah, she is. Hey. Hi, hi, Dalina. How are you? Do you know, I just you heard know, something. Will, I'm having to go. Here is, here is, here's, here's, here's Ivy. Here's Ivy. Oh my oh, God! What a pun him! What a pun him! Chain of you gotta hear this, and Bill. You gotta hear this. Eleanor, tell him. Ivy came into their lives. Beautiful little puppy. And he bonded, she bonded with Eleonora. So Jack yep. went to me, say, Yeah, oh, Dickie, I, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Life is worth living, or I just don't. <laughs> but he said, Well, we got this beautiful little doggy, and her name is Ivy. And Ivy. Blue Ivy, because her color is blue, uh, it's gray. It so away. here, Doug. Oh and my God. Now he's getting, oh, see, now you've won him over. So here's the story. This is it, Will. This is it. <laughs> he calls me and says, Ivy is just, Ele well, look at that. Eleonora. Oh, now that's, I, a that's, that's a new holiday card. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. No. So he said, Eleonora. Look. It's the COVID look. <laughs> Ivy. Ivy is Hi. just taken by Eleonora. He doesn't know me. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't. She. So I said, she. she yeah. I said, Ivy. Hey, hi, and, Ivy. Mommy's I, here. Mommy's <laughs> here. She's that's the thing. Is so I said, Jack, here or not? <laughs> Eleanor, wait a minute. I can't. I got to get a picture of this. I'm losing my <laughs> anyway. Uh, but I said to Jack, I said, Jack, why don't you get down your hands and knees and said, Ivy, Ivy, mm -hmm. come here, Ivy. You know, I won a couple of Grammys, Ivy. You know, he so says that about five times a day, okay? He's reminding <laughs> her five times a day yeah, and have five is, nominations. Is, Don't stop at the two Grammys. It's oh, five nominations. So it's that, like, and she goes, I go, oh, what the hell? I don't give a damn. Where's my mommy? <laughs> Where's my food? I have two Grammys. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ivy, I know. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. She's more human than uh, most of the she people. She used to be in show business. She used to be a show dog. So uh, she's a very good, good little shyster here. Well, that's Gosh. very special. And Jackie said, JJ said that he's, uh, she, I keep on calling her, Ivy is, it. is getting attached now to both of you. So he's smiling more and he's, he's and happy. He, you no, know, Jack, yeah, Jack, yeah. Is, Jack is showing his Grammys every day, a couple of times. So, you know, she gets the picture. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Jack. Yeah, Thank happy you. Birthday, Jack. Quick uh, happy birthday from the... Hey, the how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. There's the crew. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, birthday dear Jack. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. You. You. He's only, he's only, you know, he's only 38. Ah, good evening, so friends. <laughs> oh my God, I miss you guys so much. It's so nice to see you on, on oh, you know. Love you. Love you. So, I mean, whatever oh, we can thank do. Thank you for joining us. It's so nice to have you. you. I haven't thank seen you, you for all so you do. Long. For all you do for the music, it's an honor to have you. Yeah. Well, you know, are you still in New York? FM. Get the app and listen. It is wonderful music. What is that again, uh, Bill? What is I that again? I said. Wait, I had to write it down because I, I it's <laughs> Legend Radio 100.3. Tell the folks about it. Oh, that's what you said today, right, Dick? It's a great station. Don't miss it. Thank you, Dick. We won't miss it. We love oh, to watch it. And listen, no, listen to it, right? We'll see you it, in the desert. I know we're going to see you out there again. Hey. I hope so. Indian was. It's a beautiful little town. Yes. You're well, wishes, wishes for the best health the best year ever and uh i love you madly <laughs> wait are you are you back in in connecticut in your old house yeah i have i haven't left here are you uh, still having your christmas tree sally yeah it's all still up. <laughs> okay it's decorated for christmas and pretty soon it's gonna be valentine's day right <laughs> All right, thanks everybody good what, thank we, you we'll do another clip it was a okay, pleasure yes. What do you got? Uh, what's what's happening, Will? Well, this is the earliest clip of Jack on TV that I've come up with. Not to say there might be something earlier out there. This is the Dinah Shore Chevy Show, 1961. Again, I guess, I guess, and the other guest is Carol Channing. And oh, yeah. this is so you had your first hit, your your first records on uh, um, uh, Capitol. Then you joined the Air Force, and then when you were out of the Air Force, you started with the, the Cap series. I'm just trying to no, get the chronology. But you're history. still in uniform in this. Yeah, I, I hadn't had a hit yet, but I was singing, and uh, they called and asked asked me to. They made me come go to headquarters, and I thought I was in trouble. Yeah. And, they, and they said, "Who's there?" That was me snoring. And they said, "No." <laughs> <laughs> so I went down there, and they said, "We'd like you to do a show show because they called, and then we're going to the Air Force, the NORAD band, and uh, so and, and everybody looked at me like." What happened to him? He got in trouble, and they took him away. Wow. <laughs> and so, yeah, that was a. But no, I had no hit then, and and uh, and it was a, a, a kind of a. Don't tell that to the dog. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Uh, that's All right. Well, this is a great clip, and we have a nice color copy. So. But I'm going to tell you, this has been the, the, the squirm hour for me because it, watching old clips of. of of me singing and and, and not uh, not always uh, emoting the lyric and uh, understanding it when I was that age, and then you can't go back and do it over again. But it's, 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 it's I never had to do this for that long, and I, 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 <laughs> I've I been trying to get you to do this for years. I can't chair. believe I finally the old you know. office chair is squirming. Okay. <laughs> By the way, you look Thank fabulous. You. you look fabulous. Are you still in New York or me? Yeah. Well, oh my goodness. No. Oh, I'm definitely in New York. I am ensconced. I am ah. the most COVID-free individual in the universe. I've barely been out of the apartment and like uh, uh, since they they the weather got cold and they said no more indoor dining and that was like two months ago and I've barely been out to throw my trash out every day. I am so <laughs> COVID-free. I, I feel like I'm. I feel like Martha Stewart under lockdown. I feel like there's an ankle, you know, there's an ankle bracelet on. I'm without, so locked without down. The gummies, without the gummies, yeah. You know, I have developed so many hobbies that I didn't know I could do. So <laughs> I, I'm kind of enjoying it because I'm redeveloping myself, and maybe I'm going to a new business. You know. Oh, there you go. The yeah. Grammys. The Grammys are passe, and now we're going to do my Grammys. That's me. right. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the Dinah Shore Show, 1961. Yep. represented by such a talented little more volume well i'll boost it young man as jack jones <laughs> his commander said we could take jack away from basic training long enough to see him. <laughs> see the uh the air force allowed me to do your show only if i keep up my basic training yeah but th that, that that was machine gun fire 
I think it's okay now. Okay. You see, uh, uh, part of basic is to have a, a machine gun shot over your head. Oh, see? I see. And there's a top sergeant out there. Are they using real bullets? Oh, no, no, no. Just every oh. third one. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if he uh, hits us? No, I don't think he'll do that because uh, they'd be so mad they'd court martial him. Well, that's nice to know. <laughs> Honey, you spoil the image shooting craps out here. <laughs> Donna, was it that bad? <laughs> well, it's basic training. Well, couldn't we just surrender? <laughs> oh, hello, dear. I'm afraid we haven't met yet. My name's Carol Channing. What's yours? Jack Jones. How do you Jack go? Jones. Y you know his father, Alan. Jones. Jack uh, Jones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad told me to give uh, both you and Donna his regards. Say, listen, you be sure and tell him hello for us, will you? I certainly will. Uh, what do you suppose he's after, Donna? Fresh meat for dinner? <laughs> well, that's just uh, Sergeant Rustin, my top sergeant. He's doing his duty, you see. Uh, would uh, he get your haircut? <laughs> he give you that haircut? <laughs> I, I thought you never noticed that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'd like to uh, ask. Uh, I think we better stand up because yeah, I'm oh. but I'd like to ask if either one of you or both of you would like to join me in a number. Oh, I would love to, Jack, but that machine gunner has me worried. Well, you're not really worried about him shooting us, are you? Well, actually, I'm not, you see, but I like music so much I just hate to get shot out of tempo. <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to go it alone then, girl. All right, come on, Carol. We're going to separate that uh, right, sergeant right. from his ammunition dump. No, we'll do it. Oh, we're strong. Yeah, You're going to sing I Got a Lot of Living to Do. I love to. And shall we dance? All right. Real? All right. Good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> there are girls just right for some kissing. And I mean to kiss me a few. Oh, those girls don't know what they're missing. I've got a lot of living to do. And there's wine already for tasting. And there's Chevrolets all shiny and new. Gotta move, cause time is a-wasting. There's such a lot of living to do. There is music to play, places to go, people to see. Everything for you and me. Life's a ball, if only you know it. And it's all just waiting for you. You're alive, so come on and show it. There's such a lot of living to do. There is music to play, places to go. People to see everything for you and me. Life's a ball, if only you know it. And it's all just waiting for you. You're alive, so why don't you show it? There's such a lot of living, such a lot of living, such a lot. Shall my niece I heard <laughs> Shall we dance? Shall we then say good night and mean goodbye? Or perchance good. when the last little star has left the sky, shall we still be together with our arms around each other? And shall you be my new romance? On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen, shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance on a bright cloud of music? Shall we fly? Shall we dance? Shall we then say good night and mean goodbye? Or perchance, where the last little star has left the sky? Shall we still be together in our arms around each other? And shall you be my new romance? On the clear understanding that this kind of thing can happen. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Come on, let's dance. Life's a ball, if only you know it. And it's all 
Hey, so by the way, if you're new to Clip Joint, we do this many times a week. We love to uh, uh, share this the classic footage of great American artists with you. So please, get, you can either go to the link you see here or just put your email in the chat and uh, Beth and I will grab it off. Again, we do this three, four, five times a week. So please uh, let us know. And I promise not to inundate you with uh, too much information. We do not sell your personal data to the Red Chinese or Vladimir Putin, you'll be glad to know. Even though Putin comes to my apartment daily trying to get it out of me, but I, I will not weaken. That was a terrific arrangement, right, Billy May? Yeah, Billy May and Marty Page, too. Oh, Marty Page? Oh, oh, right. Okay. Right. Billy May did that great album I love, uh, Shall, we Swing? Shall We Swing, it was called, right? No, I it was called Shall We Dance. Shall We Dance. Yeah, oh, Billy May did his own album called Shall We Swing. No. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all behind me now. It's a terrific record, though. Terrific. Absolutely. You. Yeah, you had such great arrangers between Marty Page and Billy May and Shorty Rogers did uh, She Loves Me, yeah, right? Well, Shorty did that whole uh, medley that uh, Judy and I did, did together. And I wanted to say that Judy really was that interested in, in the people that she sang with. And and it, 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 she just and, and she came to see me in, in 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 concert and her eyes never left me, and she was that way with with every performer. She had that respect for every wow. performer. She was quite something. She was very oh. generous. Like if you watched, say, Judy with Barbara Streisand, that she was almost like the great queen and and the princess. Streisand was so young. The way that Judy deals with Barbara Streisand when they're together, she, she has his, her arm around her. It's extremely welcoming. Yeah, and generous. Yeah, yeah. she's never yeah. trying to overshadow. She's always, in fact, no. she's always focusing energy on and attention right. on the duet partner. Exactly, exactly. And the other thing that I noticed in that medley, um, Judy, we don't think we don't think of Judy as Ella Fitzgerald. You know, she's more of a show singer. You know, an entertainer. You know, not necessarily a jazz singer. But when she had to, she really could swing. She's right on the beat there. Oh, yeah. you know? She Judy really Garland. has great time, Judy Garland. Does, does not get enough attention for, for her rhythm. Yeah, I, I agree. And it was in her from her childhood. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just there. And she keeps up with Jack, who's such a formidable singer, you know, F formidable yeah. swinger. Jack can swing in 5-4 if he has to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, I, that would uh, that would be hard. <laughs> Marilyn May does that occasionally. She does take five and five four. But uh, oh yeah, yeah. How, um, Jack, how did the uh, one of my very very favorite recordings of yours is one that you did early. This could be the start of something big. The Steve Allen song, and you chose you chose to do all of the verses, unlike Steve and Edie, who sort of had a hit with it. How did uh, this could be the start of something big, which is our theme song, Come Into Your Life? Well, uh, it just was a song that I, 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 I liked and I wanted to sing it. it was my, I did uh, my first uh, album at, at Capitol. Right. And then so we, we uh, I, just, I just liked the song. I didn't know about St Steve and Edie's record. And, uh, and but Steve, uh, had a habit of having people on the show that did his music. So he liked my record and he and, and invited me to come to New York and be on, on network television, which I hadn't been on. And uh, so I remember being in, uh, in getting in, the, in an elevator and there was Steve and Edie. And they said, oh, how are you? Nice to see you. What do you, what, Jack, what do you, what are you doing? Uh, 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 they recorded, yeah, I just, just made a wonderful record. It's called This Could Be the Start of Something. And they were away with it. I didn't know they were having a hit on it. So it's a great recording. I've, I've played many, many, many. I probably play it once, once every two weeks. And as I oh, said, wow. it, yeah, probably 
it's a song that Jane and I identify with that we met and it was just like that, you know? Yeah, that's Here well, we are. what happened then with us. Yeah, it's, it's good. What, I what, thought, do have, what do you have next, Will? Well, I, Jack told me what this was and I was in a, it was one of those moments where I was so overwhelmed to be talking to Jack that I didn't remember the answer because it's not identified in my source but this is a great swinging version of people will say we're in love, but I don't know what show it's from. So I know Jack remembers it though. It's from the Red Skelton show. Oh, okay. Now and, we know. It's with the entire orchestra. Yeah, okay. and who, do you know, remember the rhythm section? The drummer looks like Ed McMahon, but I don't think it's Ed McMahon somehow. <laughs> no, that was Chuck Hughes, my first drummer. And Jack Smalley on bass, I believe. And um, uh, Doug Talbert on piano. Okay, great. I thought that's just one number. I thought I would then show uh, what I believe is your first appearance on the Hollywood Palace. Well, the Hollywood Palace was brand new at this point. Um, maybe you could talk a little bit about the palace afterwards. So, okay. Anything because you were on that show a lot. You were on like at least four times. I was, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know more about it than I do. Ah. <laughs> Don't throw a bouquet at me. Don't please are my folks too much. Don't laugh at my jokes too much. People will say we're in love. Don't sigh. Is at me. Your sides are so like mine. Your eyes, they mustn't glow like mine. The people will say we're in love. Don't start collecting things. Love. Sweetheart, they are suspecting things. People will say we're in love. Don't pray my charm too much. Don't look so vain with me. Don't you stand in the rain with me. People will say we're in love. Don't take, don't take my heart too much. Don't keep your hand in mine. What's new? How is the world treating you? You haven't changed a bit. 
lovely as ever, I must admit. What's new? How did that romance come through? We haven't met since then. Gee, but it's nice to see you again. What's new? Probably I'm boring you. But seeing you is grand. And you were sweet to offer your hand. I understand. Of you. you couldn't know <coughs> I haven't changed I still love you so Suddenly, yes, I can. Gee, I'm afraid to go on. It's turned into, yes, I can. Take a look, what do you see? 185 pounds of confidence, me. Got the feeling I can do anything, yes, I can. Something that sings in my brain is telling me, yes, I can. I have just found the key, the door will swing wide for me. I was just born today. I can go all the way. Yes, I can. Once in a lifetime, a man knows a moment, a wonderful moment when fate takes his hand. And this is my moment, my once in a lifetime, when I can explore a new and exciting land. For once in my lifetime, I feel like a giant. I soar like an eagle, as though I had wings. And this is my moment, my destiny calls me. And though it may be my once in a lifetime, I'm gonna do great. Jack, I love your singing and I love your style and you can thank me for it. Well, George, uh, my father taught me that when I was a little boy. Well, I taught it to your father when he was a little boy. <laughs> Jack, lots of luck and I'll see you in June at the Coconut Grove. Thank you, hope to see you there. You bet. <laughs> Jack will be back and, and, and he's a wonderful boy. He's crazy about his father. You know that he had a chance to be Nelson Eddie's son and he turned it down? <laughs> I got a son, his name is Ronnie Sinatra. Show business.
Before we do our grand finale, I'd like to tell you that next week's host in the Hollywood Palace will be Tennessee Ernie Ford. Oh. And now for the finale. Now we're going to do my favorite song, and this is a great song. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I want you all to sing your hearts out because this song means a lot to me. <laughs> it does, too. It's a great song. Uh, my key, please. I love to call you Rose, dear, but roses fade away. Roses die when wintertime appears. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. I love to call you Daisy, but daisies always tell what sweet that's like what? to whisper in your ear. Uh, well, what time is it? That's nice. Well, I'm I love to call you honey, but honey runs away. I much prefer a name I cling in mind. And if I call you buttercup, the dandelions would eat you up. So I bought it, everybody. Oh, I love to call you rose, dear. The roses fade away. Roses die when winter time fades. I love to call you Daisy. The daisies always tell. But sweet, that's like to whisper in your ear next week, Ernie Ford. And then what's the call you Ernie? of the Hollywood Palace has been brought to you by Salem Filter. Whoa. Hey. I forgot all about that, that one. That one's, oh. that's a rare one. That's not on the YouTubes. I think that's your first one. The only time you were on in black and white on the, the Hollywood Palace. Probably, but I mean, that, the whole medley, uh, uh, I forgot I did those songs. They're wonderful songs. Yeah, uh, Charlie be... Strauss wrote that for um, Golden Boy and it was dropped and it became yeah. like a Sammy theme song for a while. You know? Yeah. Is that really dropped? I thought I remember. Is it in the show? I thought I it was dropped from the show. show. I'm pretty okay. sure it's in the show, yeah. Because as soon as it came on, I said to Jane, oh, this is from Golden Boy. I saw Sammy in Golden Boy on Broadway. And of course, he was pretty damn good. Man. Oh, my God. Yeah. Church bells. Oh, yeah. Who's doing church bells? Oh, who's on? Oh, that's, that's my. My daughter Nicole's that's her ringtone. Oh, yeah, I didn't pick it up. So, I was gonna say, I'm expecting a telegram from Rudy Fremel, and this may be it. So, <laughs> that's funny. My favorite line from the music band, by the way. I have an announcement, and I can't, I couldn't say this if Dick were here, but um, Bill Boggs is six feet tall, I'm six foot one, and I weigh 220 pounds, so I think I can say without fear of contradiction. I am Jack Jones' biggest fan. Uh, you got, you got yeah. me beaten by uh, 40 pounds, Well, <laughs> I know. And an inch. And an inch, right. Yeah. I carry it well, I hope. Anyhow. You do. Oh, yeah. So what do you remember about the Hollywood Palace? That was uh, the replacement for the Jerry Lewis show, and it was the, the only real rival to the Ed Sullivan show in, in the great, last great gasp of the variety show. It was, and uh, Bill Harbach uh, and, and Nick Vanoff produced it, and they were a, a wonderful pair. And, and Bill Harbach was a, a, a character. Uh, I say that because I, I, I haven't heard from them. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to talk about him being in the past, but um, he was such a, 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 a absent-minded professor, and and he he would. He would call call me on the phone. Say, hey Jack, yeah, are you near a phone? Yeah, I, I, I am. Um, so listen, we, I have a six o'clock thing to do, and, and are, am I being rude by leaving now? No, I mean you've been wonderful to stay this long with on clip joint. Absolutely. No, I, I appreciate it very much, and although it it, it is the Jack Jones squirm hour. Oh um, no. Well, yeah. I thought, is there anything you want to see before you have to go? I've got a clip of you in, on the Dean Martin show as uh, next, if you want to watch that. If there's anything you might want to say about Dean Martin. Well, I did tell you, I, I, I loved him. And he was a, 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 a wonderful man with a great, my own, my, I just saw my dog walk across it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was uh, 
quite a guy and he had uh, a, a, a wonderful sense of humor about everything and uh, and I was I was going to do uh, I came came in to do the the finale of a show that I was going to come back and perform on and but they put the, the finale in the can and uh, I said Dean will you do, do me a favor could you tell the audience why I suddenly show up and uh, and then I'm going to come back and do that he said Oh yeah, so we went on the air and he said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jack Jones is he's doing the, do the finale here. And then, uh, no, I, I was going to Vietnam, that's why. And he said, Jack Jones is doing do the finale here now. And then he's gonna do his main spot on the show if he gets back from Vietnam. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. But it was, it was a laugh in, in those days. Right. It, he was, he made yeah, it funny. It's funny, but it's scary at the same time. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, Jack, God bless you. Keep it rolling. I'm just happy Thank to see you. you again. We miss you, play you, and uh, Thank you. I'd love to come back to the desert, but I mean, nobody's setting up dates. You don't have any dates set up for anything, I guess, right? Because of the pandemic? No, no. I, I, yeah. Yeah. No way. That's what everybody tells me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But after the vaccine, you're going to tour with the new album, I, I imagine. You know, I hope. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to write a new song and, and sing it. It's called the uh, Vaccine. I love you. <laughs> vaccine. <laughs> Maybe but, put, uh, put it to Tangerine. Maybe you can. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> My vaccine. It is all they claim. <laughs> Jam it in my arm and I won't go insane. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you for having me on here. And, and uh, thank you. Happy birthday. And, uh, thank you. Happy birthday. Uh, I'll have come a, back next year. Evening, and... Jack. Have a lovely evening. Hey, you too, guys. And th I appreciate the. Uh, I appreciate you you listening that closely to what I've been doing. Oh yeah, it's good stuff, boy. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. I always say, Jack Jones is the last great original. Everybody else who comes after, like, you know, say you're Michael Feinstein and Harry Connick, and I love them. Everybody else is a revivalist, but Jack is the last original, the last Amen. real great original Amen. jazz singer slash crooner slash pop singer slash whatever. There are two women, there are two women talking, and one said the other, you know, do you know that Jack Jones is his real name? And the other one said, Jack Jones is whose real name? <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Big hand for Jack Jones, everybody.